SpaceX's Starship completed its 10th test flight. And what a flight it was. This was a truly spectacular demonstration of progress for the world's largest rocket. It really was, Anna. This wasn't just about getting off the ground and reaching space. They hit a series of ambitious milestones that are absolutely critical for the rocket's operational future. Let's break them down. For the first time, they successfully opened and closed the payload door while coasting in space. This is that famous Pez dispenser door we've heard about, designed to deploy the next generation of Starlink satellites. That test alone is a huge deal, but they didn't stop there. They also demonstrated an in-space propellant transfer, moving super-chilled liquid oxygen between tanks. This is a foundational technology for refueling in orbit, which is necessary for long-duration missions to the Moon and Mars. And the biggest one for me, Avery, was the successful reignition of a Raptor engine in space. Firing an engine in the vacuum of space is a completely different challenge than on the launch pad. This proves they can perform the deorbit burn needed to return to Earth or the landing burn for a lunar or Martian arrival. And we can't forget about the super heavy booster. After separation, it executed a perfect boost back burn and made a gentle targeted splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. The footage was just breathtaking. Absolutely picture perfect. It was so controlled. While catching it with the Mechazilla arms is the ultimate goal, proving they can bring it down to a precise location in the ocean is a massive hurdle cleared. It shows the hardware works as designed. So putting it all together, this is a monumental win for SpaceX and their vision. It's not just about their own goals for Mars. NASA is relying heavily on a modified Starship as the human landing system for its Artemis program. This test flight will give everyone at the agency a lot more confidence that Starship can deliver. It sure will.